guys again, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this makeup look. It is actually my everyday makeup look except for the lip because I went a little overboard on the lip. But I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this using only drugstore products. So I'm sure that's something very exciting for you guys. I'm also going to be telling you about the most important skincare that you probably need right now. And yes, you can find it in the drugstore. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, so first things first, we are gonna go in with the Bello Sun Expert Tinted Sunscreen, and this one is in the shade Medium to Deep. Now, I'm really excited about this product because it is a sunscreen, and if there is one thing that I would recommend that you guys start using right now, it is definitely sunscreen. Wearing SPF every single day, not just when you're in the beach or when you have outdoor activities, is really important because that is the first and foremost thing that you can do for anti-aging and because you don't only get harmful UVA and UVB rays when you're out and about, you also get them when you're indoors from all of the light bulbs. So it's really important to keep yourself protected with a good SPF. So today I'm using the Bello Sun Expert Tinted Sunscreen and this product is just really amazing I've used it already quite a lot and I really love it first of all it smells really good and it's so easy to apply on the skin second it instantly evens out your skin tone without having to apply additional BB cream or foundation so it can act as your base already especially for everyday looks like this so what I like to do is apply the product straight onto my skin using my fingers because it's so easy to blend that I don't need a beauty blender or I don't need a brush. And I put a lot of this product onto my face because it doesn't feel thick or cakey and I know like the more that I have of this product on, the more protected I am from the sun. So I just like to pack it on in there and I also apply this onto my neck because that can get sunburned too. And your neck is actually the part of your face where you want a lot of anti-aging going on because if you only apply products onto your face but your neck shows all your wrinkles and all of your sunspots, then that's just really gonna show your age. I'm gonna apply the most of this here because that is usually where I get a lot of my freckles and my freckles come out when I go out in the sun. Under my eyes, on my eyelids and on my ears as well. Everywhere needs protection, even the back of your neck, back of your ears, everywhere. All right, so now that that is on my skin, it feels absolutely amazing, it smells really good, and my face does not feel oily or sticky or too white. I know that's why a lot of people don't wanna wear sunscreen because it just feels so uncomfortable during the day, but this one feels just like second skin, only better. Like my face feels so much more fresh. It feels like there's a layer of powder on it even when there isn't. It feels matte but not too matte where it's cakey and it's dry. So it's really good as a base and I'm happy with the coverage that it has right now. So I'm gonna move straight on to concealer. For concealer today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Concealer and this one is in the shade Sand or number 20. And I'm just going to apply that onto my eye bags area over here. Onto the other side, on the sides of my nose, and onto my forehead and the bridge of my nose, just to sort of highlight it a bit. And here on my little freckle, and here, to make it pop. Now, the reason why I'm not going in with a foundation is because this is an everyday look and I want it to be very natural, I want it to be fresh and easy to apply and I want my skin to breathe and shine through and because I'm already super happy with the coverage of my SPF all I need is a little concealer and I'm good to go using a beauty blender making sure that I'm dabbing and not swiping I'm gonna go over my eyelids with whatever's left on the beauty blender just to sort of even out the tone of my eyelids as well And finally, the forehead area and the nose area. Next up, I'm moving in with a powder. I already like the matte finish that the sunscreen has left my face, but because I want my makeup to last the whole day, I'm just going to set it lightly with powder. And today I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready in the shade Light Medium or number 20. And I'm taking my EB brush and I'm just going to directly put that onto the compact 
and dust that on my face. The reason why I don't have to bake or use a sponge to apply this is because my face is already matte and I just want to set it a little bit more so it doesn't need to be really thick on the skin. Alright, moving on to blush. I know I said this is going to be a full drugstore makeup tutorial, but this just arrived and I'm so excited to use it. It is the Glossier Cloud Paint and this is in the shade Haze. But you can go on ahead and use any cheek tint or lip tint or cheek stain that you have. It doesn't really matter. We are going to be applying it in the exact same way. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this cheek tint onto my clear palette over here. And I'm going to take the same beauty blender and I'm just going to dab it already on the palette just so I can get the color on this palette before I apply it onto my skin. So I won't be afraid that it's going to appear too bright on my cheek. If you guys haven't seen my drug blush makeup tutorial, then I'm going to put a link up in the cards and down in the description box below so you can see another way to wear your makeup or your blush. Especially for you girls out there who love cheek tip and cheek stains. So as you can see, I'm applying the color onto my cheeks lightly and then mixing it up with the other part of the sponge to sort of spread out the color. And I'm just going to apply whatever is left on the sponge onto my nose bridge to give me sort of a sun-kissed and flushed look. Now I'm going to take whatever is left on this palette on my finger and I'm just going to dab that onto my lips. Alright, now I love how the color of the sunscreen is tinted and it's not so bright like how a BB cream leaves your face. So I don't really need to go in with a bronzer to contour my face but I will go in with a bronzer anyway just to sort of give it a little bit more definition. So I'm going in with another EB brush. This one is in number 3 and I'm taking the BLK Cosmetics Contour Highlight and Blush Palette. This is in the shade Flushed. And I'm going into the brown color in this palette over here and I'm just going to Apply that onto the hollows of my cheeks and up on my temples. And down here. Very, very lightly. And now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and put that into my contour color as well. And I'm just going to dust the sides of my nose to give it a little bit of an elongated shape. And I'm also going to take that same color onto my eyelids just to warm it up a bit. Now this is a technique that I love using so that I don't have to wear eyeshadow. I use my contour color to add a shadow onto my lids and that's it. I'm going to add a little bit of contour here too so that my lips look a little bit more pouty. And that's it. Alright, now moving on to highlighter. This is another favorite of mine. It's from Maybelline and it's called the Master Strobing Stick. And I really, really like this, especially for makeup looks like this because it's so easy to apply. It comes in a stick form and the color is so natural, perfect for an everyday look. You can already see that it's shining. And what I love to do for an everyday look is just use my Bello Tinted Sunscreen and this product and it makes you look like you've just had the best sleep ever. It makes your skin look so healthy and so warm and glowy. Alright, so moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the BLK Cosmetics Eyebrow Sculpting and Pencil Duo. And this one has the perfect color for my eyebrows and I really love it because the tip is in this sort of triangle shape so I can easily draw on the tip of my brows with this more precise edge and I can fill in the hairs with the thicker edge and just shade it in so it gives a natural finish. Now I'm going to take the other edge of the pen and it is a spoolie so I'm just going to brush the hairs up so it's more tidy and so there are no sharp lines from the pencil. 
And that's it. All right, now moving on to eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Crayon Liner in Black. And I'm just going to draw an edge onto my eyes, extending the shape of my eyes slightly outwards. Now you can use any eyeliner for this. I prefer using a pencil eyeliner so it's easier to smudge out in case you make a mistake. And it generally looks a lot more natural than if you went in with a pen eyeliner or a gel eyeliner or liquid eyeliner. Pencils just make it look more natural and effortless. All right, so now I'm just going to go use a brush and smudge that out so that it doesn't leave any raccoon eyes down here when it transfers. So I'm just going to smoke that out a bit. And with whatever is left onto the brush, I'm just going to apply that onto my bottom waterline. If you want, you could also take a little bit of that contour color and use that to smoke out your bottom waterline so it's not too harsh or it's not too black. Now I'm going to take my eyelash curler and I'm just going to curl my eyes. You can use any eyelash curler that your heart desires. This one is from Shiseido because I didn't want to have to go out and buy myself a drugstore eyelash curler. It's all the same. Just use whatever you have. It's fine. Moving on to mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I really like this mascara because it really makes your eyelashes super long and voluminous without sacrificing the curl. This is actually a new bottle because I've finished mine already. And I'm going to apply mascara onto my bottom lash line as well. So moving on to lips today, I'm using the Maybelline New York Super Stay Matte Ink. And this is in the shade 20 or Pioneer. And I'm just going to dab that onto the center of my lips. And blend it out using my finger. I'm blending it out slowly with my finger to give it like a diffused look. So you don't really see any harsh lines on my lips. It's all like a soft gradient. Now if you have any excess on the sides of your mouth, you just go in with your beauty blender and fix that. All right, so my look is basically complete now. If you want to add a little bit of lasting power, then you can go in with any setting spray. You can sweat it out or go under the rain. You can splash yourself with a little water. Or if you have setting spray laying around, you can spritz some on yourself. This is the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I know it's not drugstore, but you don't have to use this. You can use anything. So all you do is spritz that onto your face and it's just gonna make your makeup last a little bit longer. All right guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this everyday makeup tutorial that I did. I'm so happy to be filming it for you guys today. If you enjoyed watching it, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.